Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is Valeria or Fluorescence UV. Today we are doing a video on this look. It is Valentine's Day today and I'm actually going out with my boyfriend. So we're going to go have some drinks, have a little bit of fun, go see the strip. Um, yeah, so if you're super excited to see this beautiful beautiful black smoky glam just keep on watching i did want to do something more different because i don't know i just felt like doing black smoky eye instead of something pink even though i do have a pink shirt so i'm kind of keeping in theme uh the purple hair how do we feel about it it's a little bit of a hiccup that i had with my purple shampoo but i kind of i am obsessed and i want to dye my hair purple now Ah, oh, welcome to my life. Just to let you know, just to give you a little sneak peek of what I use, I actually used the Tati Beauty palette. This was my Valentine's Day gift this year, and I'm so fucking stoked. I absolutely love the way it looks. I just think I look good and snatched. So if you're excited to see how I do this look, then just keep on watching. Hello, welcome to the real me, where I have a turban to let my hair dry. I go in with my MAC Mix Fix Plus in the gold just to hydrate my skin because it did feel a little bit dry. Then to use my eyeshadow base, I go in with my P. Louise base in the shade 0 and 3. These are just a little bit too dark and a little bit too light for me. So I like to mix both of them just to make the perfect shade to have the, co like the right color for my eyeshadow base. Now, the first time I did it, I felt like I didn't have enough coverage so i decided to put more of the three and the zero base in my lid and then i just go in and blend it with my equal tools sponge i feel like personally the best way to blend this out is with a sponge because it just gives me the perfect coverage no brush streaks or anything and it's really blended into my eye once i'm done with that i bring in the bad boy which is the tati beauty volume one palette and this was my Valentine's Day gift, as I said, and it's so beautiful. I love it. I go in with the shade Smooth, and it's the Mad Crease shade that I decide to go in with. Then I go in with my Time 102 brush, which is the blending brush, and I decide to put it on my crease. Now, this is beautiful. I It's so much pigmented. I think I only go twice into the pan, maybe three times to add pigment into my eye and then I blend it out. As you can tell, it is so easy to blend out. It just makes everything look so nice. Uh, I think the, the shade is really nice. It is a little darker and it's not too light, but I'm perfectly fine with that. I can take that. Once I'm done blending everything out, I decide to go in with my Wet n Wild Crayon Eyeshadow Stick. It is the shade Black and I decide to start putting that as my back my black base i like this because it's super creamy it's really easy to blend and if you want to keep adding pigment you can uh and it's super inexpensive so that's why i decided to go with that instead of a eyeliner because eyeliners can dry quicker and sometimes they are harder to use then i decide to just put it all over my lid as you can tell i'm making sure i go into the lash line because i hate when you can see it in the lash line and you see a gap of white and that's just your natural skin tone so then i go in with a flat shader brush just to blend everything out now the key here is to tap as much as possible and then blend upwards now i don't like to go past my crease i actually like to stay below my crease as you can tell because it is crucial not to bring the black up too high if you do you can never erase that so that's why i do that now i go in with the second darkest shade which is the brown and it is the shade ritual in the matte section and i use that in between the shade soothe and the black base i decide to do that because i want to have a trend another transition shadow in between the black and the cream cream color this is crucial to a black smoky eye you always need to make sure you have in between shades just so it looks 
as blended as possible then i go back in with my soothe shade in the matte and i decide to blend everything out just to make it look seamless once i'm done with that i go in with the shade memory which is the black eyeshadow and tap that over the black base again i do not go above my crease because that is a crucial point not to bring it above your crease and you will have other shades to blend it upwards once i decide that is pigmented enough i decide to blend it out with the shade matte shade which is ritual and memory and then i like to start bringing the black upwards now i do have more of the shade ritual which is the brown than the black because i do still want it to look more of a dark brown instead of a black now this is just key make sure you keep blending them up have patience, have patience, because that's the, the the trick to black smoky eyes all, all the time. And keep going back and forth with brushes. Now I go in with a with a Jaclyn Hill X Morphe collab, and I think it's the number 31 brush, and I just start blending everything. It is perfect. Now I go in with my round blush again just to make everything look cohesive and make sure that my smooth shade isn't lost and my transition shade can show now because of all the blending i feel like the black was lost a little bit so i start adding the black again as you can tell it is pigmented as you know and once i'm done with that i decide to go in with the ritual sequence to put a little bit of glitter in my lid because i will put glitter on the lid later in the in the video as you can as you will see now for my crease, I decided to use the shade Aura and it's the matte one. And for my brow bone, god damn, it looks highlighted, it looks good, it looks natural. Which is something I was super impressed with. After that, once I have everything blended out, I decided to go in with the Memory Metallic shade. As you can see right there, it gives me a beautiful blue undertone and I just really was impressed with that. I decided to use the black sequin and to put it on top and I just didn't think it was enough glitter so I used my NYX glitter glue as a base for the memory glitter shade and this has such a beautiful gun metal undertone. Uh, this is the best way I could explain it. As you can see, I just use my finger to tap it into my eye to blend it out. And then I go in with the Ritual Sequin eyeshadow shade to blend. Now I go in with the Sequin shade for the smooth to bring it up again. Because I am using glitter and I want to bring it up my crease, I make sure I have glitter that looks seamless. And I just lightly blend it up i zoom in so you could see the glitters on my crease and it is so soft and so gentle and just beautiful now going into the other eye i just repeat the same steps and i just focus my my index finger for the glitter glue and my middle finger for the press glitter after that i go in with my becca under brightening concealer in the shade light to medium this is perfect for correcting dark circles under eyes because it is date night i do want to be a little bit more glammed up i do want to be a little bit more coverage I think this is a perfect way to color correct dark circles and it's very lightweight and it doesn't mess with your concealer. Once I'm done with that, I decide to go in with primers. I'm using my MAC Prep and Prime Smooth Primer. Then I'm going in with my Smith & Colt Foaming Brightening Pow um, Primer. As you can tell, the, the MAC was just to make my skin feel hydrated and smooth. And the Smith & Colt was to brighten my skin. I felt like I had a lot of redness. And I feel like this primer actually brightens. It's such a cool texture. And it makes my skin feel super nice. Which is one of my, why I like it. Then I go in with my NARS Sheer Glow and my NARS Radiant Foundation. These two are the perfect mixture of both of them. As you can tell, they are both two different colors and I think one is too light for me and one is too dark for me. So I like mixing them and it gives me the perfect look. Because I am going out, I do focus more on the Longwear Foundation because 
I want it to be more matte and I want it to be more white because it is December or it is February and your girl is not tan. I just blend it all over my face with my Eco's Tool sponge and after that I go in with my Too Faced Born This Way concealers. I go in the shade light beige and the shade natural and these are perfect as well. One's too dark and one is too light. I like to use them too color correct as well and it gives me like the perfect hue of for my under eyes concealer once i'm done with that putting it under my eyes i just dot a little bit and i decide to blend with my equal tool sponge when once is that is all blended i decide to go in with my tarte shape tape in the shade light beige and really focus it on under my eyes but more where my cheeks are at and in my forehead my nose my cupid's bow and my chin to highlight this is such a bright concealer after that i decide to let it sit i go in with my milk matte bronzer and i decide to contour with that it is one of the best cream contours that i have yet to find i love the undertone the undertone is not too orange it is neutral it is so beautiful and i just go in with a brush to blend it out i feel like it's a lot easier to blend it out with a brush than with a sponge especially for this product the reason why i'm letting my concealer sit is because i do want it to have as bright as possible so i do focus more on my bronzer to blend everything out i contour my nose a little bit and i use the spot on my brush but then i realize it's a little too hard to use my brush so i go in with my sponge just on the sides of the nose once i'm done with that i decide to just blend out my concealer i decide it's time and i blend everything out Right here is where I notice how purple my hair actually is and I have, I'm have i thinking of what I can do. When I am done with that, I go in with my L'Oreal Pro Glow foundation which and I just put it all over my face. I go in with my Cover FX bronzer which is the split duo which has the matte and the shimmer. As you can tell here, they are super pigmented and I had to blend out a lot. Uh, so I just just make sure you go with a light hand, but these are so beautiful. The colors amazing and The shimmer on this is phenomenal. I love how light it is and how Intense the glow is but it looks so natural. It's just crazy and looks beautiful then I go in with my Mac mandarin blush just to give me again more dewiness to the face after that i use my mac whisper of guilt highlighter this highlighter came back actually when the holidays were around and so i decided i had to pick it up just to see what the hype was and i'm just highlighting my cheeks my nose my cupid's bow and my chin now, going into my eyes, I decided to use my LA Girl Glide On Eyeliner Pencil in the shade Very Black. I am putting it in my waterline and I am bringing it a little bit into my lash line because I want this to be as black and smoky as I can and I want it to be as pigmented so I make sure my lash line for sure gets covered. I go in with a pencil brush that has no product just to blend out the black. That is the main focus, just to make it look blended out. Once I'm done with that, I decide to go in with the palette again and use the Smooth Matte Eyeshadow, which is just, I'm repeating what I did on top of my eyes in the bottom. Then after that, once I have everything blended out, I decide to go in with the Memory Sequin Shade at first just to add a little bit of darkness into my eyes once i'm done with that i go in with the metallic shade because i want it to be shimmery but i don't want the glitter the pressed glitter on me here as you can see i'm going in with the same sequin metallic eyeshadow or i'm sorry as you can see here i'm going still in with the metallic memory eyeshadow in my lash line just to connect the lower lash line with my upper lash line and make the V connected. It looks super cohesive, super nice. After that, I go in with the pencil brush with no product just to make sure everything is winged out and blended. 
I felt like I lost a little bit of the sequin shade, so I decided to go in again and put a little bit more. Once I'm done with that, I decide to go in with my eyebrows. I use my ABH Brow Wiz in the shade medium brown, and then I go in with my brow, my Benefit Gimme Brow Brow Gel in the shade number four. This is what I usually do. I just felt like you guys should see what I do for the New Year's or for Valentine's Day. Uh, yeah, right now that I am a little bit, I have a little bit of time to talk, I'm going to tell you what I did with my hair because my hair was a surprise and was super last minute. What I had to do was just basically go and get, I had a temporary spray color and because my hair is already blonde, the purple looked really good and it gripped on and it looked more vibrant. So I just decided to curl my hair first and then just start spraying the temporary color on my hair and it looked and matched perfectly. So that's all I had to do and I had the temporary hair color because of EDC so that came in clutch. Just to set my face, I go in with my Max Fix Plus, put that all over my face to give me a little bit of glow. Then I use my Smith & Colt setting invisible setting spray and this is like a dry setting spray but i feel like it's perfect for my t-zone which i like now i don't have an outro unfortunately so i just used the intro and just decided to do a voiceover because i messed up and i was in a rush already now for my lashes i have my dubai lashes from the makeup shack those are my ogs you already know i will not split up with them because they're so good for my lips i decided to go in with my anastasia beverly hills sepia lip gloss i did try to mount it down as much as possible because i didn't want such a glossy lip i do like the matte look of it and that's what i did so this is the final look that i did for valentine's day i honestly am in love with this palette I can't wait to use it more times. Let me know what you think of my hair. Let me know what you think of my the black smoky eye. And let me know what you guys did for Valentine's Day. I will catch you on the next one. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you next month. Bye, guys.